Thank you. Dear Chair, Honourable Members of the Envy and Agri Committees, Ladies and Gentlemen, it is indeed a great honour for me to be here today before the democratically elected representatives of the people of Europe to seek your approval as Commissioner for Health. But allow me please to start with a few words in my own language, Greek. In a dietary timigia mena, Navrisco medo simera, san hipopsifia epitropos igias. Oli gnorizume, otita themata eias angizun amesa, tingathimerinotita cathe europeu politi. To yegonos afto, tapotelesi yamena timbixida, puthame cathodegica tati diarchia tistitias musan epitropos, ean epibebeotho apoto europaico kinovulio. Dear friends and colleagues, European citizens expect the peace of mind that comes with access to health care, safe food to eat, and protection against epidemics and diseases. They deserve this. We have some of the world's highest standards on animal and plant health, and the most affordable, accessible, and high-quality health systems to deliver on these expectations, to do away with inequalities. The von der Leyen Commission wants to lead a European Union that does strive for more. For our generation, Europe was a project built to bring peace, unity, and prosperity. For our children, Europe needs to be much more. They tell us loud and clear about their strong desire to live a natural and healthy environment on a green and sustainable planet. I have spent my life serving public causes. I have been elected three times to my national parliament and I, was, I had the honour of being elected to be president of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. 27 years working with children and adolescents as a clinical psychologist in public hospitals on mental health for those among us who are frequently forgotten. I know firsthand the importance of well-functioning health systems and that the collective health of our societies depends on the individual health of every single citizen. But that alone is not enough. It depends also on the general health of our planet. I am here before you today ready to commit all my energy, all my knowledge and all my skills to serving these European causes as Commissioner for Health for the next five years. Dear friends, health is an area where the European Union should strive for more. We cannot be complacent by what we have achieved. We see transformations in climate, in technology, and in demography, which change our societies and our ways of life. Europe must lead the transition to a healthy planet and the new digital world. These are challenges that all impact our quality of life. They impact social cohesion, competitiveness, and economic growth. We can only deal with them successfully with a One Health, Health in All Policies approach. The Green Deal is an opportunity to address these challenges holistically. It places good health and sustainable, nutritious, affordable food under a single policy umbrella, also climate neutrality and zero pollution. I am delighted that my work on food safety, animal welfare, and plant health will be a significant part of this agenda. And I am thrilled to lead our work on a new farm-to-fork strategy on sustainable food. It will address every single step of the food chain and reach every actor within it, putting social inclusion at its core. These are challenges I recognize. 
but I'm not afraid taking them on, knowing that you will be a key partner in this process. As a parliamentarian myself, I recognize the crucial role played by these committees, and I look forward to working closely with you in the coming years. I have met many of you in the last few weeks, and it is clear to me that we share common ground on many issues. Protecting citizens from risks like endocrine disruptors, reducing our dependency on pesticides, promoting animal health and animal welfare are issues in which I want to join forces with you. At the same time, I will work closely with national governments, knowing very well that implementing and enforcing EU rules in this area is something we can certainly improve on. It is vitally important we avoid the damage that is done to consumer confidence and public health when rules aren't followed. Building trust is imperative if we are to succeed. Transparency and honesty need to be our beacons. We need to clamp down on issues such as food fraud that undermine the single market and the trust of our citizens. I want to ensure that we have the right means to keep our citizens healthy, and for this, a steady stream of affordable medicines is vital. The EU pharmaceutical system has given citizens access to high quality and affordable medicines for decades. I will focus on implementing a modernized and more robust legislative framework for medical devices. This needs to be done in order to improve patient safety and consolidate the EU's role as a global leader in this field. Digital technologies, artificial intelligence need to be leveraged in this effort as they can bring concrete benefits to patients and to healthcare professionals. I want to maximize this potential and I see the creation of a European health data space as an important step in the right direction. On all these issues, Europe has a special place to play on the world stage. A European Union that strives for more simply cannot afford to look inwards. The scope of our action should be global and multilateral, reaching far beyond our borders. Antimicrobial resistance is a danger happening both in Europe and in the world. The clock is ticking. We need to act now. Europe should lead this global effort, and I will advocate for an international agreement on the use and access of, to antimicrobials. For that main reason, I will also prioritize the implementation of the European One Health Action Plan against antimicrobial resistance. Ladies and gentlemen, I will close with cancer, a flagship priority for the next Commission and very close to my heart. Europe's beating cancer plan. 40% of us will face cancer in our lives. There are not many families who have not been in some way touched by this disease. This in itself is reason enough for cancer to be one of the top priorities in the area of health. Beating cancer will require all hands on deck and a truly horizontal health in all policies approach. Everything from the food we eat the lifestyles we lead, the medicines, the care, the technology we have access to are highly relevant to beating cancer. Each is a link in a chain that has one aim only, to reduce the impact of cancer in Europe. I see our beating cancer plan touching upon all the actions in my mission letter. Farm to fork, the Green Deal, antimicrobial resistance, innovation, affordability of medicines. It needs to address prevention, 
diagnosis, treatment, research, survivorship, and palliative care. It needs to involve sectors and industries beyond the health sector, including education and environment. I have worked with the European Parliament on cancer in the past in my capacity as president of Europa Donna, the European Breast Cancer Coalition, as a patient advocate, always working in partnership with the medical community, industry, government, and parliaments. I was, in fact, one of those involved in the passing of the first resolution of breast cancer in this parliament in 2003. Making a difference in the life of cancer patients has always been my guiding principle. And speaking from personal experiences, I can assure you that it will continue to be my guiding principle in my current mission if I am confirmed as a commissioner. Ladies and gentlemen, being commissioner will empower me with the opportunity to uphold principles I've believed in and worked passionately for all my life. I will work with the European Parliament, with member states, stakeholders, my fellow commissioners, to improve public health and secure a sustainable future for Europe. Where we diagnose weaknesses in our systems, we must come together to deliver a cure, working with energy, ambition and commitment. Building partnerships based on trust, honesty, transparency and accountability. Many of you asked me in Strasbourg what I hope to achieve in the next Commission's mandate. And this has been in my thoughts from day one of this journey. In five years' time, I want us to look back and say, we delivered an ambitious cancer plan and reduced the suffering caused by cancer. We provided healthier and greener food for our citizens. We improved public health and patients' access to health care. We reached out to European citizens' everyday lives. We made sure Europe works for all its citizens in the area of health. We took up the challenges and we delivered. And this is why I am here before you today to ask for your support in reaching these goals together. Let us join forces to inspire, to fulfill our promises to future generations. L'Union fait la force. Thank you. Evcharisto. Merci beaucoup.